Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. What I have for you today is a gift from Bucks County Beer Reviews. Him and I did a beer trade recently, trying to get through all his beers before I uh, hit the road. And this beer that he sent me is I Really Like New Jersey. As you can see, it's got like a star where it says like. And it's from Ludlam Island Brewery, which is in Ocean View, New Jersey. But this also says Woodbine, New Jersey. And there's not a lot here on the can. It's a blonde ale, 5% alcohol, pretty standard beer. But on the side of the can here, it says, drink for the children. Proceeds benefit Community Rocks. And Community Rocks, which is really cool that they do this, a beer to, to support this. Community Rocks is a 501c3 nonprofit organization of people helping people, communities helping communities. Our mission is to celebrate, educate, and empower youth and communities through music, arts, wellness, and give back. Our programs provide creative, active, and positive outlets that foster community, celebrate culture, and nurture holistic wellness, physical, mental, social, emotional, educational, environmental health, and well-being. So that's pretty cool. I always appreciate a beer and a brewery that donates proceeds back to its own community and general area. You can tell it's spring. There's something flying around here. Even though, for some reason, it's now a cold evening here in Cleveland. The other day when I was doing videos, it was muggy, humid, and warm. And now it's cold. Well, on tap, this beer gets 3.65 with 1.1 thousand check-ins. And there was nothing on Beer Advocate. I don't know. Am I going to overflow it? I hope not. It's a big white head with big white bubbles. I mean, it's kind of an off-white, eggshell white, I guess you would be. I just got some huge fisheye bubbles going on there. I don't know if you can see that. Try to lean the glass and pour it out all over my desk. But it's just breaking off of those big, chunky fisheye bubbles, big kind of cloudy pillows. As far as color goes, it's a blonde, but that's pretty cloudy. I would give that probably a four on my SRM chart there. I know it's hard to see with this glass. The Ohio Pint Day 2021 glass which is a glass you can get to help support the Ohio Craft Brewers Association. See if I can smell anything. It's got that, that crisp, that crisp kind of beer smell, but nothing, nothing major sticks out there other than the head that's all over my nose now. And surprisingly for how big that head was, it is dissipating real quick, turning into little chunky islands and things. But I'm not going to wait for it to die down completely. I'm going to get into it. Thanks again, Wayne. Really appreciate this. Always love trying new beers that I would never find anywhere else. I would never see anywhere. So thank you for sending this to me. Medium body. And... You get some moths, some hops, but nothing special. They uh, work together nicely. It's balanced nice. Tastes like your average blonde beer. I mean, a little bit of sweetness in there. Overall, it's a well-done beer. It says it's got a little bit of sweetness from the malts. Some of the hops balance it out. But there's nothing overpowering. It's be a nice, easy beer to drink. It's a great beer to do for a... Uh, Charity beer to, to support the community because a lot of people would try this and buy it again and drink it again. Easy drinking beer. People who aren't craft beer nerds could get on board with this and drink it. So I give this a horns up. It's a cool beer to have. I always enjoy having beers that are uh, supporting charities and things. It's got that nice independent craft brewery sticker on there. It's a great beer. Thank you again, Wayne. Appreciate it. Hope you all think I had a great video. If you do, hit that subscribe button. And as always, embrace the adventure.